The Simpsons is really a beautiful thing. I mean, the town, its people, the feel, it's diverse and feels more real than live action shows out there. I mean, I love that any random character can just pop in for a joke or be in the background and it just feels right. But today we are looking at what Simpsons characters would look like in live action. Who could take on these roles from the Hollywood stars of today? So today I'm actually looking at the random citizens of Springfield. Next we'll move on to the friends and the co-workers of Homer, school workers and the kids, and the neighbors and family of the Simpsons. But first, and today, we're going to tackle Krusty, Sideshow Bob, Chief Wiggum, Dr. Nick, and Comic Book Guy. So let's recast The Simpsons for live action. First, let's talk about Krusty the disgruntled clown, who really has a lot of issues. I mean, he's kind of always depressed, he's a chain smoker, and really an alcoholic. But he's really good at what he does. But it's important to note, he's kind of changed with old age. He's sold out over and over again, and really does anything to make a buck. Now, it's well known that Krusty is kind of a recreation of Homer with the hair and of course the makeup. And since I've already talked about Paul Giamatti fitting the look, but he doesn't have that feeling. For Krusty, however, that anger and that depressive state feels right at home for this role. Although he's not Jewish, he feels perfect for that Jewish father storyline as well. Sir, this is a winery, not a bar. <laughs> oh. Just give me a full goddamn pour. What are you doing? I told you I need a drink, so I'm gonna help myself, okay, pal? What do you think? Let go. Glass, fucker! I think he would be absolutely great here and knock this one out of the park. So Paul Giamatti as Krusty the Clown. Up next, let's talk about Sideshow Bob. I mean, he was Krusty's right-hand man for a period of time, and a really iconic character of the show. Although he isn't a regular, I feel like his storyline in the time on the show really stands out as some of the show's best. Now, Sideshow Bob, of course, is a lot of things, but he's extremely well-educated. I mean, he even has a PhD. So it's important we have an actor who has that intelligence. Someone who, while he kills you, feels like they can recite Hamlet. He needs to be cold-hearted, and someone who just feels different and a little bit off. Now, Benedict Cumberbatch is perfect if you really think about this. He can do that intelligence, but with menace. He has this weird feeling about him, which makes you feel like he's somewhat of a psychopath himself, and his voice is actually incredible. Genetically engineered to be superior so as to lead others to peace in a world at war. We were condemned as criminals, forced into exile, hoping when we awoke things would be different. There are very few people that I think could sell me on a role like this one, and Benedict Cumberbatch is perfect. So Benedict Cumberbatch, a sideshow Bob. Next up we have Chief Wiggum. Now he's kind of a stereotype for a cop, but that doesn't make him any less funny. He's dumb, lazy, ignorant, and really has a love for donuts. But the thing about Chief Wiggum is he has that charm, and his heart is always kind of in the right place. I do think he's one of the most innocent kind of characters, and I want that kind of warm-hearted nature to really come across. That's why I think Jon Favreau is really great here. Considering how well he's done as Happy Hogan in a similar type of role, I think he could really nail this out of the park. He's got that beautiful innocence, that charming nature, it just feels like Chief Wiggum. If I was involved, I advise securing a lawyer. I need a lawyer because I'm, un I'm under investment. I thought he would, he said there's no charges. I, get, I could say uh, under advisement of counsel, uh, I refuse to answer the question respectfully because I, the, the answer could incriminate me because it's on it the same Goodfellas. What was the thing that's saying Goodfellas? I think he could play out that dumb nature and really he's golden. So John Favreau as Chief Wiggum. Next up, we have Comic Book Guy. Of course, again, really a stereotype, but he's almost kind of been transformed into the ultimate parody of the uber intense nerd. He's the voice I hear in my mind when I get into crazy nerd debates. I mean, my first thought here was Kevin Smith, who is one of the king of the nerds, so it only makes sense. But honestly, his personality and his feeling as a human being just doesn't really fit. Plus, he's lost a lot of weight and really doesn't look like the role anymore. It's important to me that this be a nerd, not just a person who can portray a nerd, but a real nerd in real life. I end up landing on Brian Posen, who works really well. He's got the build, the look, and really he's one of the most prevalent nerds in Hollywood. Holy shit, you guys, Carrie Fisher just said my name. Oh my God. I love Star Wars again, and that's a huge thing for me. And then Star Wars did a couple of things that made me mad. He would feel right at home here. I mean, I think all you have to do is slap a bald pony on this guy, and he just works incredibly well. Banana in the dark. So Brian Posen as comic book guy. Lastly, we have Dr. Nick, a personal favorite of mine. Is it really even possible to respond another way when someone says, hello everybody, in that perfect inflection? He's crazy, shady, immoral, and really just hilarious. We need that actor who has that kind of boiling under his skin. He seems weird and off, but really gets that crazy and hilarious in the operating room. I want John Leguizamo, 
who, come on, he's just Dr. Nick through and through. The man looks like he was made for this park. He's even got that little bit of crazy in his eyes that I think just works even better in live action with this character and would translate so well. So John Leguizamo as Dr. Nick. So there are my choices for the random citizens of just Springfield in general. Now, if you are looking for a VPN to protect you online and change your IP address, look no further than Surfshark, which right now until December 31st is giving you 85% off and three months extra free. Link in the description below for more details. I'm going on to Homer's friends and coworkers next. Anyone you don't want me to miss out on, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.